Hey guys, it's Jen Cushman here with Ice Resin and today we're going to do a little bit of cold enameling. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a metal silhouette and you want to take a little bit of our Art Mechanic enameling medium. Take a disposable paintbrush and put a little bit of medium on top of your silhouette. You just want to paint a thin layer. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your relief powders. I'm using raspberry here. And you just want to use it right over top of the container and just sprinkle a little bit on. Now you can do all one color here or you can get a little bit fancy and you can add, oops, don't do that. You can add a second color right on top of it. Now don't worry, those spots that I had, I can go back and I can fix them later by adding another layer on top of it, but let's get going for this. So now what I wanna do is I want to take my heat gun and I wanna start warming it up from the side of the metal. If I go right on top of it, all of that powder is gonna blow right off. So start working your metal from the side. Iced enamels are a quick melting enameling powder. You're going to see it bubble. And because I made that little mistake right there where it fell, it's got a little bit of that right there. But we can go back and we can fix that by adding just a little bit more medium, sprinkle a little bit more powder on, and just going right over top of it. But for the sake of time, let's just keep moving right now, okay? This is a triangle that I have that's already been um, enameled. And what I want to do now to complete the cold enameling process is I want to do a sealer coat of ice resin. I've gone ahead and mixed up some resin in a cup. I'm taking my disposable paintbrush again and I am just painting it right on top, a thin layer, right on top of my silhouette. You just want to get a thin layer. You can add it. You'll know that there's enough. Self resin is um, self leveling. Ice resin, ice resin is self leveling, so it just takes a little bit. Now here's another piece I have where I put a little bit of resin on top of it, and I'm going to show you that you can use resin as glue. You can just go ahead, and when your resin is wet right now, you can take buttons or rhinestones or other cute little inclusions and you can just lay them right on top of your iced enamel piece and your cold enameled charm. And when it dries, it's gonna be permanent on there, never gonna move. So, cold enameling is just as simple and easy as that. Okay guys, take a look at some of these other amazing cold enamel pieces that are already done using iced enamels. There's some with one color, two colors, all of our great things that are canvases for your creativity. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial today. Get busy. Let's get artful. Thanks, everyone.